Draw the asymmetric projection of rectangular prism 16 into 18 into 20 mm thick surmounting a tetrahedron. So this is the important. So it's a tetrahedron of sides 45 mm such that the axis of the solids are cooling layer and at least one of the edges of both the solids are parallel to VP. So let's draw this uh, rectangular prism which is 60, 80, 20 which can be either this side 60 or this side 60. So take this point. So this is 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Then 60. Then 80. Then 60, 80. This side is over. Thickness is 20. So from here, two box. Similarly, I'm going to draw this. Next, I need to find the center if they say that this is the such the axis of the solids are cooling that means this solid axis so let's draw this line this should be in thin line this is a construction line just for the visibility purpose make it thick now I got the center of this rectangular slab next thing is I need to draw the tetrahedron so you already know how to draw the tetrahedron you can I have drawn the orthographic projections for the tetrahedron of the side length 45. Now I need to draw this. So when you go to draw the tetrahedron, draw the top view triangle, then project it. The axis length is something which we need to find it. From this is the corner, this is the true length. I need to cut an R radius 45, then we'll be getting this. Then I'm going to keep these points. Now I am going to draw from this point to this point. I call this point as. So let's draw the triangle here. Now, from here, from the center to this point, it is what is the distance? The distance is 12.99. Similarly, from this point to this point, the dimension is 25.98. So we can take 13. This is as 26. So from here. I'll draw this line. I will delete it. This is the center. From here, this is 10. This becomes 15. So approximately, this becomes 12.5 half of it. So slightly more than that. I'll just keep it 30. We can. We have to draw it based on the approximation. Then from O. 1 point to B which is 25.98 so I need to count 26 approximately so this becomes 10 20 this is 25 slightly more than that keep it then from M to C which is 45 by 2 which is 22.5 so from this point this becomes 20 and approximately I'll keep it in between which is 22.5 then from here 20 25 is somewhat here so I'll keep it in between that and this line should be parallel to this 30 degrees then I have drawn from M to C M to A then I'm going to join to C to B so from here I'm going to join it. Join it. So the height of the tetrahedron is 36.74. So approximately I'm going to draw that. So from this point 10, 20, this becomes 30, this becomes 35. So slightly here. This becomes 35, slightly more than that, which is 30. Then I'm going to join to these points to A to B we need to keep the edge front side if I'm going to keep the corner here that means the opposite side will be visible then only one face is going to be visible so we need whenever we are going to draw it whenever we are going to draw a triangular pyramid or tetrahedron we need to keep the edge front side 
so these are the construction lines I will delete it this axis line I hope you understood well and how to solve it have a good day